You came here today because you wanted to hit pure iron shots. I'm gonna show you how to improve your contact and start flushing those irons. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And we're gonna dive right into this because there is nothing better than hitting a pure iron shot. Now the first thing you gotta know, and this probably goes without saying, but to hit a pure iron shot, you gotta hit the ball first, right? You gotta hit the ball and then you hit the ground. That, it's that contact that gives us that sense of, man, I just pure that iron shot. So the question is, is how do I do that? Well, there's three ways that you can do it. And we're gonna talk about all those today. So let's dive right into it. The first one has to do with proper weight shift because we've gotta to learn to get the bottom of the swing in the right spot, all right? So the first way is in weight shift. So I've got my live view set up here. It's one of my favorite, uh, I wouldn't even call it a training tool, it's, it's like a coaching tool that I like to use for myself and my students. And I've got it on this new dual camera mode. I've got the live view right here from the caddy view and I've got my phone down the line, my mobile device right here in front of me so I can see in real time exactly what I'm doing. So you'll see here, all right, that I've got the red line just off my hip. And if you've watched any of my videos, all right, okay, you know that I like to start with a little bit of weight on the lead foot. We call this the 60-40 setup. All right, the 60-40, it's in our whole vertical line swing system, it's in all of our stuff, all right? And the reason I like that is because when we've got a little bit of weight on the lead foot, we can unweight and we can push it to the trail foot. That helps our tempo and our rhythm. <clears throat> now why is that important if I wanted a pure iron shot? Well, because if I start a little lead side heavy and I move to the trail side and I rotate, now I've got my momentum and I can push and get going back into my lead side. And it's this movement right there, the little bump, turn, and then push back, that allows me to move that bottom of the swing forward and make solid contact. So let me go ahead and hit a shot, and then I'm gonna show you what you might be doing. Okay, so here we go. Little lead side heavy, I'm gonna bump it, turn, and push forward. Now that felt really solid, and I definitely got my, notice how I finished there? My weight's forward up over the red line. Now, if you're not flushing your irons or hitting pure iron shots in your weight shift, could be this. I got two other ways that might happen. Just hold, bear with me. We're gonna talk about those also. But you probably are doing this. See that? You're backing off, okay? So you've gotta feel like you're gonna bump and you're gonna get that weight going a little bit forward. Now, how can you practice that on your own? Well. You could just do this simple drill. I've, done, I've showed you this one 10 times probably in my other videos. Take your setup, take your lead foot, bring it back to your trail foot, swing it up, and then go ahead and step forward. And that little drill right there will give you a feel of what that's going or what you wanna do there. So that's the first way. Now the second one actually has to do with more of a feel. And I like this one take them to the golf course, all right? And I've got a third one I'm gonna share with you here in just a second. But the next one is what I call a little bit of the elbow squeeze. Okay, so see my elbows right here, okay? This would be a part. This would be feeling like I'm kind of squeezing them. So this is more of a feel. And what I've noticed just over 25 plus years of teaching and coaching is, is that when I tell a student, when they come into impact to feel like they're squeezing their elbows together a little bit, what happens is, is that gets a little bit more forward shaft lean. See that right there? See how my hands are getting to that red line right there, boom, but the club has a little bit behind it. That feeling of squeezing the elbows helps them get a little bit more lag, a little bit more compression on the ball. Let me go ahead and hit one and see if I can get that. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna feel like I kind of squeeze my elbows as I go through the strike. Oh yeah, see that felt really solid. Okay, so that would be a feel. Now, you don't wanna be tight and tense. I'm not, I'm not telling you to get tight and tense like that, but just feel a little bit of squeeze, because here's what happens to a lot of you, especially if you slice it, okay, is that when you come in, your elbows actually do the opposite. They separate. See, and when they separate, that kicks the club head in front, all right, and that adds loft, and it makes it almost impossible to have pure iron shots. So that's the second one that I would tell you. Now, I got it. Hey, if you haven't already, be sure to join the family here at US Golf TV. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, because we got great content coming out every week. We're helping people all over play better golf. Now, let's talk about the last one here. This is probably the one 
for those golfers, you know who you are. I call you my experienced golfers. That's me. I'm in that category right now. You know who I'm talking to. Us are getting a little bit older. And we don't move like we used to move. Here's where you want to be looking. So when you're set in here, you want to look at the direction that you swing the golf club. All right, this, is, this we know. When I stand here, I'll do this from face on so you can see this. When I take the club and I swing it straight back and straight through, notice where it hits the ground, right in between my feet. Everybody see that? Now if I start swinging it back and around, where does the club start hitting the mat? Way back here, right? Okay, if I go back to straight back and straight through. Okay, so for a lot of you, if you're not flushing and pure in your iron shots, it's because when you take the club back, you're dragging it inside. See that? See how it works underneath that yellow line? Okay, and what happens is, is when you do that, the bottom of the swing moves backwards. Okay, and this is precisely why I developed a complete system called the vertical line swing because I just saw this over and over and over, especially as people get older in their golf game and it was just ruining their golf game. So I said, hey, we've got to do something with this. So what we did is we just developed the system we call the vertical line swing where the arm, lead arm just swings more straight back and more up. Now when that arm swings straight back and up, see that? <clears throat> the bottom of the swing, Okay, moves more forward. So the key to hitting quality and pure iron shots is controlling where you hit the ground. When you head to the golf course next time, be aware of your weight shift. I give you a little bit of drill for that. Give me a little bit of elbow squeeze. And if you're one of my experienced golfers and you're still struggling, feel that club swinging a little bit more straight back and straight up. And if you do those things, you're gonna start hitting pure iron shots.